polyester three sixteenth of an inch roll. Um, typically for the power cord bracelet, you would use five fifty power cord and <coughs> and base and uh I have some pretty big clips here that I'll show you in a second. I'm just cutting off my cotton twine. There you go. Okay, these are my clips. General term to something, uh, Bic lighter. Okay. They're both against my thumb. So these are pretty big clips. And um, what is good about the twine, though, is I can get about 24 feet of it on there. I'm going to use the polyester for a more professional look. So. Alright guys, got a little bit better light now. Um, items you'll need for this project. Um, obviously some power cord. You can use other stuff like I have this polyester stuff. 50 feet. Um, power cord is I think one fourth quarter of an inch in diameter so you're going to want to get pretty close. I'm at uh, three sixteenths, four sixteenths would be a quarter, so I'm just under the size of a power cord. Um, another thing is just a simple knife, it can be any knife that you choose, and uh, a lighter so you can burn the ends of your string. And also you're going to need to go to Walmart or um, find an old coat or find an old backpack like I did that will offer these clips. We all know what these two, they go together. And these will be what the power cord will go down against your wrist and these will click it together. So, say this had power cord on it, you're going to be, and that's going to keep it there. Okay? Oh yeah. And one more thing you're going to need is a tape measure and or one of those fabric fabric me uh, measure measurers. Jeez. Uh, the fabric ones personally work better because you're going to you're gonna need a measure around your wrist. Okay? So you're going to need one of those. Um, first off, you're going to start with measuring your wrist. I'm just going to use a tape measure backwards because that's the way it bends. I'm going to start to bend it here. And then I'm going to fit my hand inside of it. And uh, just kind of get it around. Take a peek. Um, it's, it's about 7 to 8 inches. My wrist is personally. And um, how you're going to do your power cord is um, for every inch equals one foot of power cord. So my wrist is um, eight inches, so I'm going to use eight feet of power cord, okay? Um, I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to lay out my tape measure and then I'll show you guys, um, I'll show you guys how to um, make it. Alright guys, so I have my tape measure laid out. I have eight feet and I just locked it and um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my power cord or whatever rope you're using and you're going to start at the beginning and you're going to unravel it to the end, okay? And your string might be a little bit uh, kind of windy if it came in the form of mine did. So it'll take a little bit of time to really take it out. I'm going to put this here. Um, you might need something like a heavy object to kind of hold it down so you can get the full length of it. Use this chair. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, cut off 8 feet. And uh, if your wrist was 8 inches around, you're also going to uh, cut it off. And like I said, for every inch, it is one foot of power cord or um, string, okay? So I'm going to cut this, and then as I cut off my 8 feet, um, can you see this end was the end it came with, and it was nicely melted it down. But when I cut it, it got frayed, so that's where the lighter comes in. Um, polyester so just melt it down. Um, I suggest if you're in the house not to really do this. It stinks pretty bad. Really bad. 
But yeah, and this this part here, it's kind of hot. Um, I'm just smoothing it out so it makes it nice little um, nice end on there. Uh, similar to the stock end we got here. Um, this is the end I did, and this is the stock end here. Okay, so you guys uh, melt down your ends so they're nice and clean. And then, okay, so once you get your two ends melted down, you're going to line them up. You're going to keep the string nice and tight all the way down until you get the looped end. Okay. Now you're going to take your clip and uh, you're going to put it on the side that has the single bar, not the uh, double bar. And if you do the double bar, you want to you're gonna want to pick the inside part of it, okay? So um, just for convenience, I'm actually gonna do this double side just in case you do it wrong. And I'm just gonna shove my cord through the, um, the single side of it here, and uh, it's a little tight. I'll warn you right now. And it might take you quite a while. You might need to use a little bit of leverage. I'm going to use my pocket knife here. Open this baby up. I'm going to... And if you break this part, I don't really think it matters. But uh, you might need to shave some of it down to make it fit. Um, especially if they're not the right clips. Um, You might use your knife to push it in there. Uh, there we go. As you can see, I just used my knife there and pushed it in. You're going to want to recheck your ends. You can still adjust them. Mine are pretty good. And you're just going to want to pull this out a little bit. Okay. So now you're going to take your two ends and you're going to just do a simple loop through. Okay. So here's your loop. You're just going to push them through, bring them all the way. So you get this, you're going to tighten it down. Let me show this. There you go, and that's the beginning of your um, power cord bracelet. Alright guys, we got this this far. Now you're going to want to take your two ends and unclip them. Okay, so you're going to have the end with the power cord and the end without. You want to take this end. You're going to run, run your two um, free ends through it. Okay, I'm just going to run them through it. Um, once again, I'm going to have to use my pocket knife to kind of push them through. Personally, I don't know how yours will go. Got one. Going for my second one here. Be careful when you're doing this not to cut yourself. Um, Especially if you're doing this out in the wild, this would be pretty much a no-no. Um, anything that involves lots of pressure, a knife, and uh, your fingers are close to it, mm. I would not suggest doing this out in the bush. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt. This is why you got to make sure that your ends are not too big, because they won't fit. Kind of like my... Um, one end that I did. It's too big. But, uh, let's keep working at it. I'll go through. Alright, so I'm gonna get my two ends through, just so they're hanging through, and then I'll get you guys. So, I got my two ends through. I'm just gonna pull a little bit more slack so I can show you guys. And get my two ends through my clip. Remember that tape measure? Um, you're gonna need it now. Basically, you took the measurement of your wrist, and now your mine was, uh, I had it 8 inches on my wrist. So from the first buckle, I really did the first buckle here, you're going to measure down 8 inches, okay, measure down, and you're going to mark that spot on your hand. This is going to be the part that goes around your wrist. Okay? 
Now, I'm going to take that buckle that you just ran through, the bottom side here, my two, three ends, and you're going to slide it all the way up. Okay, you're going to slide it all the way up to that top part. I should use my teeth to mark it. Okay. Trust me, if you do not like the feeling of like nails on the top board, you're not going to like moving this thing with your teeth. Uh, should be nice if I had an extra pair of hands right now. Okay, so I'm gonna have to measure again. Okay, so they're eight inches apart. Now you see how mine's twisting like that? You're gonna want to um, you're gonna want to have to figure that out. You're gonna want them to be um, completely straight all the way down the line, and whatever it means, if you have to take the buckle part back out and flip around, um, that uh, these two right here have to be completely in parallel. Okay, so um, if you remember your wrist length, okay, you're gonna do it from one buckle to the other. Alright, and the free ends are going to be way on the far side. So as you can see, from one buckle to another, these are two free ends and the uh, slacks in between. Alright everybody, so I have uh, my two buckles, eight inches apart. Click it together, this is where your wrist will go. Okay. Um, you know, I'll keep them right there. And not be wiggling these things around. Um, like I said, these two parts have to be um, straight all the way down. They can't they can't be crisscrossing or looping around. And uh, it doesn't really matter with these because I mean they're not tied down or nothing. So uh, one thing I do have to mention with my belt or with my buckle here, um, I was not able to get my ends through it because. Uh, they were not meant for this. You can buy them at Walmart um, where they fit a lot easier, but I had to take off a little bit of plastic with my pocket knife, um, and it makes it a lot smoother and a lot easier. So, just a heads up. If you need to my modify them a little bit, that is uh, fine. So, so, let's get to making this power cord bracelet.